Well, Paul here with uh, another Wholesome Farm video. In uh, today's video, actually, this is going to be a follow-up on two other videos that I've made about uh, building greenhouses and bending pipe. And uh, you'll need to watch all three of them um, to, to, to get a, a bigger picture. Uh, I've made the uh, video of how to build a greenhouse, and I'll put the link here for that one. And I've had lots of questions about it. And then I made another one, and I'll put a link in, the, in a little bit about how to bend pipe. But uh, anyway, here's some of the questions I've been getting, and mostly it has to do with the structure, the frame, the skeleton of the greenhouse. And it's actually pretty simple. And I recommend using the steel pipe over PVC. One, the cost difference is not that much, but uh, the life difference is enormous. PVC won't hold up uh, but for a few years and the sun bakes it, it gets brittle, wind will crack it and break it and it, it, it'll become more of a nuisance in the future than and the metal will never go bad. So it's simply chain link fence pipe. You've got the post for a chain link fence. That's a one and five eighths inch pipe. And then you've got the top rail on the chain link fence pipe, which we make the, the, the hoops out of. And that's one and three eighths. So all, so all you need for pipe is those two. And um, the, the one and five eighths inch pipe, what I do is uh, I get them and I cut them to four foot lengths. And your ground has to be perfectly level, and I mark it two foot, and then uh, pound these down into the ground until you get to that two foot mark. And then you do that to your whole greenhouse. Um, and you can make this as long as you want, but um, I would suggest not going over a hundred foot. I wouldn't even go, these are 48 feet. Because the longer a greenhouse is, the more inefficiencies you're adding to it. Um, but now, making your own greenhouse, bending your own pipe, you can go 12 foot, 16 foot, 20 foot, or 24 foot's the largest. I wouldn't even worry about the other two unless you just don't have space for it. I'd either go 12 or 24. Because um, then you're using an even amount of pipe to make the, the ridge. But here's what you do. So you pound this pipe in till two feet in the ground. You don't need to drill holes. You don't need to cement it in. Just pound it in. If, and uh, if you just take a two by four and you bang on the top of it, it you should be able to work your, your pipe in. My ground is a little caliche hay, clay. So I actually machine down, I don't, I don't have it with me right now, but I machine down a fitting that fits into the pipe, has a lip on it, and I just hammer on that. And so you get these pipes in two foot in the ground, they're not coming out. And that's all you need. Uh, now, one of the things you want to do when you get the pipe in, it might be a little rough, you want to grind it smooth so that there's no burrs. Just get a, a grinder. They're only 20 bucks. So, pretty cheap tool. You'll use it all the time. In fact, I've got a couple of them. This one's a grinding wheel. Uh, you can grind metal, but when I make compost tea makers, I'll show you how to smooth the plastic out with this. The other one I have, I just keep a, a blade, a cutting blade for cutting metal. And sometimes that's what you'll use to cut this pipe with. You can use a cutting blade, uh, real cheap, $20 tool, and, and you're, you're good to go. So um, then you want to get aluminum tape. They, they sell metal tape. It comes in rolls. It's wherever they have duct tape, you'll see this metal tape. And you, well, once you get the pipe in, but that's what you're going to want to put around here. That's what this is to protect the, the plastic. So uh, now I'll, I'll show you the other video. I uh, put the link here for the pipe bending, and, and that's how we bend this pipe. And the pipe comes 10 foot 6 inches long, and so it's already the right perfect size. Uh, in that video that I just put the link on, I, I've got a link to where you can buy a pipe bending machine. They're, they're, it's a hand, it, you know, you just mount it to a board and you bend it. you'll see the video, but uh, it's less than a hundred bucks and you can get it for whatever size greenhouse you're wanting to make. And um, I'll, I'll put the link on in this video for that also. But you bend your pipe and then you'll take your rib 
and, and then the ribs you want to do every four foot. And then you put them six inches into this pipe. So, so the one and three eighths top rail pipe will fit perfectly into the one and five eighths post pipe. So you put that in and then you just get some uh, self-tapping uh, sheet metal screws. And this, this is a must tool. This is a hammer drill. And I, this is not the right fitting, but you put that in and you, and you screw that pipe in with two screws to hold it in so that it doesn't move. Now when you do that, uh, you can put a clamp or uh, kind of have somebody, eye, but you want to eyeball all the ribs. You want to put them all in first, kind of loose, and they won't slip down or anything because they're wanting to, to bulge out. So you can put them in there and kind of uh, move them so that it all looks even. Because you, you know you might be an off an inch one side and off an inch on the other side, and they'll look they'll look uneven. So you want to make sure that they're all even in a row, and then you just screw them in. Real simple. And if you don't have an impact or a hammer drill, you need to buy one. Um, I use this all the time. It's one of the most used tools uh, for me. So I went ahead and I bought a real nice brand and and uh, it's more expensive. They make them much cheaper. Um, but I've noticed some of my friends who do that, they, they go through about three or four of those drills and I haven't used mine up yet. So that's a pretty way, good way to go. So once you've got this pipe in and you've screwed it in, then you want to put your metal tape uh, around both pipes and that'll protect your, your cover, your plastic cover. The other thing you want to do is on the outside, I don't know if you can see through the video, but on the outside of this pipe, I have white duct tape and that goes through the whole rim and that'll protect the pipe. You can see here, um, this is just a seam, so that's just dirt in there. But what'll happen is the pipe will get dark like this, or the pipe will make the plastic dark and create a, a weak spot uh, where the sun heats up the pipe. And if you've got the, the white duct tape on here, that won't happen. Um, so real important to use this aluminum metal tape and, and that keeps this all smooth so that uh, it doesn't cut in the white, um, duct tape that's that's what that's about then the other question is the, and I'll show you here in a second but on a 12 foot greenhouse which this is you need to run a purlin that's a pipe all along the top rail and uh, what I use to hook those up with you can buy these they come in bags of tan really cheap now you can go to uh, online and, and, and greenhouse supplies you they've got special fittings and all that kind of stuff you know, but way expensive. Don't need to do that. This is one and three quarter to two and three quarter, uh, just uh, a pipe clamp, a hose clamp, and that's the easiest way to do it. You just buy them in bags of ten. It's the cheapest, and I've never had them go bad. Never had a problem, and, and I'll show you how that uh, that works. Okay, so there, if you can see, um, it just takes one clamp. And I don't know if you can see the screws there, but uh, a 12-foot greenhouse takes two pieces of uh, pipe bent, and you screw them together, and you screw them in the same way. They just slip together like that. And then I mark this, uh, this purlin that goes all the way down the middle. You can see that. I mark it every four foot, and then that way, when I'm screwing these on right here, I, mark, I, I move it to the four foot mark and then I just put the pipe clamp around there and screw it down and it works perfect. Now all these cross tees and stuff that you see here, you don't necessarily need those. The only reason I put those in this greenhouse and you can see the wire running is because I was growing uh, tomatoes and peppers in this greenhouse. Now I just grow lettuce so if that was the case I wouldn't do that. Um, but uh, it worked real well for when I was growing tomatoes. The other thing, if you make a 24 foot greenhouse, you'll run run, run two purlins, one kind of down this side and this side, either side, you want to run two of these pipes and clamp them down the same way. Now I'll show you on the, on the end here, 
on the end I used two you can't see it but I used two clamps crossing and then I cover it uh, heavily with that aluminum tape and that keeps the ends from being destroyed uh, and then I'll show you here that's that aluminum tape and on this side you can see the uh, how it gets screwed in so that's pretty simple and then I use this uh, greenhouse cover it's like 12 year uh, cloth it's a triple weave and if you notice today is a pretty cloudy day outside and it's pretty bright inside here because the way this works is it diffuses the light like a prism and so it's much better for your plants it's uh, I, I distribute for this if you're interested you can contact me but it's uh, 38 cents a square foot for this material but it'll last you you know a good 12 years well hopefully that answers some questions I was getting a lot of questions and you know details that were missing in the other two videos that I had the link up there for but if you watch all three videos if you're really interested in, in building a greenhouse I think that pretty much will cover what you need to do and uh, should help you out you should be it's it's not not, not that hard um, <clears throat> you just keep a few simple rules and you know it's pretty inexpensive to build your own instead of buying a kit anyway I hope you found that helpful and if you uh, haven't please subscribe to our channel we'd love for you to do that and share us on Facebook and to friends because that that really makes a difference for our channel we appreciate you watching